Another super common question for module two is finding forces between blocks. So here we have three blocks together, one applied force, no friction or anything like that. Because we got no friction, baby. We need to figure out the force between blocks four and eight and force between blocks eight and six. And we start just like we do with the forces in the strings. We figure out the acceleration of the system. So we consider the three blocks to be one combined mass of 18 kilos. There is one external force of 72 newtons acting on the 18 kilo block. We can figure out, according to Newton's second law, acceleration is four ms to the minus two. And we just say, well, if that's the acceleration of the system, therefore it's the acceleration of every single object in the system. We can now find out the net force on every single object in the system, which is simply just gonna be the mass of the object multiplied by the acceleration of four. Pro tip here, note that when you sum up the individual net forces, it adds up to the net force on the system. Again, here's where we use our assistive force minus our resistive force. So here I'm saying the net force on the four kilo object is the only force towards the right of 72 newtons minus the only force acting on it back towards the left, which is the force that the eight kilo exerts on the four kilo. Do keep in mind this is Newton's third law. This is an action reaction pair. The force that the eight exerts on the four will be equal and opposite to the force the four exerts on the eight. We've now determined that the force that the eight exerts on the four is 56 newtons. And by extension, the force the four exerts on the eight is also 56 newtons in the opposite direction. Now for the eight kilo, we have the assistive force of the four kilo exerting 56 newtons on the eight kilo. We've got the resistive force, the six kilo pushing back on the eight kilo. We need to figure out what is the value of the resistive force the six kilo exerts back on the eight. We've now figured out the six kilo block exerts a 24 Newton force back towards the left on the eight kilo block. And cause of Newton's third law, the eight kilo block also exerts a 24 Newton force towards the right on the six kilo block. Now, when you look at the six kilo block, there's no other forces acting on it. Because we got no friction, baby. So the force that the eight kilo block exerts on the six kilo block must also be the net force. Earlier on, we figured out that the net force on the six kilo block is 24 Newtons, and that aligns with the force that the eight exerts on the six kilo. Easy peasy, got you an extra mark.